if you lose your QID or your Qatar ID outside of Qatar. I think this is something that has been asked quite often at times. When you lose your QID and you are outside of the Qatar, first of the thing, if you're not in the, in the country, let's say for example in your country, the first thing you need to do is to report to police of the loss of your QID or loss of your ID. You inform the authorities. Those authorities will make a report and that report it is the same report that you'll have to submit to the relevant authorities here in Qatar. Let's say, for example, you get that report from your home country. Then you need to submit that report to the human resource. It can be a hard copy, it can be a soft copy. Either way, depending on what kind of uh, agreement you have with your human resource. Because he is in Qatar, is the person supposed to help you out, process, or the, your company in Qatar is the one to process for you what you call and re-entry permits so meaning that you will send them what you call the official report the police report from your country you will give them they will submit that report to the relevant authorities that to the directorate of immigration then the director of immigration will approve then they will mark your id and then they will process for you what you call re-entry permit for you to come back but remember this is going to go with what you call a fine of of Qatar Real 200, 200 Qatar Real. And this is supposed to be paid by what you call a card or what you call a debit card or what you call a visa card. So meaning that this time you do not want to have what you call a debit card and you're living out of the country. So the only option you are, you are left with is to submit a document to your human resource the human resource will pay, will pay up, will make up the appointment on your behalf. When you get an exit permit and you return into the country, then you can pay up in case your human resource or in your in case your company accepts for that kind of help in one way or the other. But most of the time, you'll not be allowed to have re-entry unless you have what you call that re-entry. Entry permit that is from what you call your sponsor. So meaning that we, when we always carry our QIDs, we always have to be a little bit very careful in one way or the other because the the process itself is a little bit tedious or it's a little bit very tricky, especially if you are not operating inside Qatar yourself.